Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this magazine cover art transition or effect. This effect was firstly done by Kami VFX. He's a totally dope VFX artist. He did it on one of his Ice Spice like edit. And I am just recreating that. I'll link his social down below. You can check it out. But anyways, I have these two clips as you can see, which I'm gonna make that transition on. So first, I'm gonna go over to the last frame of my first clip and just hit Control Alt why and it should bring up this render settings what we're doing is taking a snapshot and bringing it into after effects so i'm gonna go to the output model and set it to jpeg sequence and i can just save it wherever i want i will name it poster image and just render it after it's done just open up your photoshop again and in here we're gonna just drag in the image that we exported from after effects so let's just drag into that and it will create this new project file that's exactly what we want so i already done this effect as well let me open that project file as you can see this is the sample so i'm going to show you how to create this type of magazine cover art so let's get back into the tutorial comp the tutorial project file i mean and take my crop tool and just crop it like vertically make sure your character is on the center as well when you crop in and just hit enter and vertical composition or whatever you want to say i don't know what do you call it on photoshop it's composition on after effects though but for now i'm just gonna like take my pen tool now where is my pen tool like pen tool and start masking around my subject real quick really quickly oh my pencil is set to shape so i'm gonna set it to path and do the same thing again my bad make sure you end path already after you done like selecting hit control enter and it should make a selection now and then to separate it from my background i'm gonna just go to here and you will see a little option called mark and it's to separate our subject now then i'm gonna just duplicate this and remove the marks from a below layer so our subject is separated i'm firstly gonna add the text so as you can see this is the text that i made in last time if i open up this you can see this text so to create this text i'm gonna go over to my composition again and hit t to bring up my text tool and write anything you like like i'm gonna just write magazine i'm gonna just write like magazine and just bring it up my font is anton right now but i'm gonna like play with the spacing of it also if you like you can just stretch it as well like something like that magazine my marks is so messed up uh let me just fix that real quick with the brush uh lower down the size bring up the flow and bring up the hardness as well and just fix it roughly around the here because it's so messed up oh yeah that looks way more better now so to add some styling onto this text i'm gonna just double click my text layer and it should bring up this layer style and i'm gonna enable the gradient on it and make sure your gradient color are uh, something like this i like to set my gradient like something darker at the end in the below and something lighter at the top maybe i'm gonna make it a bit more lighter because it's a bit too dark dark for me and i also like to add an inner glow into here and make sure you have selected the color and in inner glow with the color make sure you have selected the color that's on the bright side so let's just select that and just bring up the opacity and you can also bring up the size if you like lower down the opacity maybe something like that and bring up the size that looks super dope right now after that a little stroke i set the size to four and for the stroke color it's like a dark yellow and finally enable the drop shadow and you can just mess around with the drop shadow values like bring up the distance bring up the opacity like something like that yeah that drop shadow really looks cool i really like that so our main text is done now so one thing i also like to do is add a color strip like kami did it so to create that i'm gonna take my shape tool and make sure you are in shape not in path and just create a rectangle shape like that and i'm gonna now enable the stroke and enable the uh, and enable the fill maybe something a uh, colors like this color this looks pretty cool so after you create that color strip i'm gonna add some text into here so in here i'm just gonna write how to create you already know you can write whatever you want that makes sense with your music video but for it i like to change the font to something like akira uh akira yeah we can just stretch it a bit if we like 
like this yeah that looks pretty cool and also like i'm gonna bring up the spacing of it after that i'm gonna just go to layer style and, and just enable the drop shadow and play with the values of it enable the color overlay and set it to the same color and i'm gonna add a white stroke on it so white stroke and bring up the drop shadow more i guess like that that looks super hard for sure and put it like something like that i'm gonna duplicate this and just add it at the end so it's like filled up and also add like a drop shadow into the rectangle as well so next thing i like to add an image in the corner i grab this pick from the music video so i'm just gonna drag it in and take my shape layer again and set it to circle and just in shape i'm gonna set it to path and just create a circle max and hit ctrl enter to make a selection and max it out so it's like a circle max looks pretty cool and i'm gonna add it into the corner Corner, exactly like how Kami did it also I'm gonna put my text before the layer so it doesn't cover my text layer as well maybe something like that so now I like to add more text into here so like 100 just like how Kami did it and put it like here and I'm gonna duplicate this again I'm gonna call it most favorite then just I'm gonna open up the styling of it remove the gradient overlay add a color overlay into here and make it into white and I'm gonna remove the inner glow as well and remove the stroke as well and for the drop shadow I'm gonna make it dark like super dark and just play with the distance of it let's just do the same thing with this too and remove the stroke as well that looks super cool already i'm just gonna duplicate this text again and i'm gonna name it like effects and put it at the corner like there after that or uh, rectangle i'm gonna take my rectangle tool again and set it to path and make a quick rectangle like this make sure they are like rounded corners and just disable the stroke and enable the fill something like that maybe and put it at this corner and i'm gonna put it before my selection layer and in it i'm also gonna add this image that i grabbed from the music video as well so let's scale it down select my rectangle tool again go into path set it to path and create a simple path like this make a selection and make a max i'm gonna put it before my selection as well also a drop shadow and i'm gonna just duplicate this layer and put it below it as well like that another thing i like to do is before my background layer which is this i'm gonna add an adjustment layer and just take my brush tool and i'll lower down the flow to 30 or 25 and and lower down the hardness to zero and i'm going to select a color to like something like orange like that and just make a lightning effect like this for it i'm going to change the blending mode to something like green yes yeah, green looks dope yes yeah, green is a killer and lastly with my pen tool i'm going to create some like waves i'm going to bring up the stroke size and just set it to white put it before all of my layers just like that i'm going to duplicate it multiple times put it before and just rotate it as i go and now to top it off we're almost done i'm going to select all of my layers Layers and convert it into a smart object and go to filter go to camera raw filter and i'm just gonna add a quick filter into it so like you can bring up the contrast the highlights lower down the shadows bring up the midtones making up the black add some green into it and we're done now so to bring it into after effects what we're gonna do is go to file export and make sure the format is on jpeg and just export it wherever you want i'm gonna just name it poster so in here i'm just gonna drag the poster that we exported which is this one this looks super clean i really like it so now first thing i'm gonna do is line it up to so lower down like the opacity of it and just line up the position so it's like perfect uh, like that that's that's perfect i guess and i'm gonna select both of these it up and make sure they are in center so like that also i guess we have to line it up again so after you've done that you should have like a poster exactly lined up to your video 
So I'm just gonna stream it till here. So it's on the second clip. And in here, I'm just gonna. And now to create that transition, we're gonna enable the 3D on our poster layer and hit the stopwatch on scale, hit the stopwatch on position, the R, and hit the stopwatch in all the rotation as well. Go a bit further, just lower down the scale to zero as we go. And for the position, just slide it out of your frame. So like that. And you can also like bring up the rotation and stuff as you do it. The rotation like that. After this, just easy is your keyframe. All of your keyframe go into graph, go head into speed graph, and make a simple graph like this. Nothing too crazy. Now we can see we already have the transition done. But one thing I like to do is add a shake to make it a lot more smoother. So, so to do that, I'm going to add an adjustment layer and use my shake pack. So open up user preset, go into shake pack, and in SD, I'm going to add the best one in here and i think i'm gonna remove the flicker from it as you can see the shake really has that energy and the impact that we want it looks really cool so if you want to download this pack i'll leave this in the description this pack comes with a lot of shake like this which you can use freely on your project also in my site i'm running a crazy bundle with like my shake pack and my 3d title pack if you don't know my 3d title pack allows you to add those insane 3d titles and my shake pack you already know what what it does does so i'll leave it in the description if you want to check it out so anyways to top it all off i'm gonna add a drop shadow on my poster layer just like a bit of three dimensional and also add like a blur into my background so fast box blur set it to six lower down the amount as we go so after all my transition looks something like this so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this where i upload daily on july so stay locked in with all the tutorials so yeah see you in next video peace